dual gauge rail line being constructed on Dhaka Tongi and Tongi Joydevpur routes. Progress of work 41% so far. Number of corona vaccine recipients increasing day by day. Experts urge everyone to take vaccines without being confused by propaganda. Those at home and abroad involved in Al Jazeera's misleading propaganda being identified, says Obaidul Khadir. Despite their propaganda against corona vaccine, BNP leaders now taking vaccines like donkeys prefer drinking muddy waters, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. China blocks BBC broadcasts within a week of CGTN ban in the United Kingdom. And Bangladesh scored 105 for 4 at the end of second day in reply of 409 of West Indies in the first innings at Meerpur Test. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chattogram Center. I'm Imtiaz Amas Siddiqui, you have just heard the headlines. Let's move on to the details of those and other stories. A 49-kilometer-long two dual-gauge rail line from Dhaka to Tongi and 13-kilometer-long one dual-gauge rail line from Tongi to Joydevpur route costing 11,600 crore taka are being constructed. Construction work of a new rail bridge over Tongi's Turag River is going on in full swing under the project. Concerns said at present passengers suffer a lot due to shortage of third and fourth line from Tongi Komlapur rail route. After completing the new lines, more than two trains can be added in the route. Special train arrangement will also be available on this rail line. As a result, pressure on road will be decreased and people will be relaxed. To get the maximum benefits of the project, experts suggest to increase the number of trains from Dhaka Tongi rail route. Though work completion period of the project is 2023, concern said it is likely to be extended due to corona pandemic and it will cost more than present budget of the project. More than 5 lakh people have so far taken coronavirus vaccine shots in Bangladesh and all are doing fine without any side effects. As a result, the number of vaccine taking people are on the rise every day. Doctors, nurses, cabinet members, foreign diplomats and leaders of different political parties as well as people from all walks of life are among those who have received COVID-19 jab shots. Health experts say this vaccine developed by Oxford University and England-based biopharmaceutical company AstraZeneca is safe and effective. They call upon all to receive shots ignoring all propaganda and rumors. People involved in the vaccination program say the country will be free from the deadly coronavirus once all receive vaccine shots. Bangladesh began mass vaccination against COVID-19 across the country on February 7. Awami League General Secretary Badul Qadir said investigation is on to find out persons at home and abroad involved behind the misleading Al Jazeera propaganda. He said rumor and propaganda against Sheikh Hasina had been floated in the past which was proved false later, and the imaginary Al Jazeera report this time will also be proven untrue. Ubadul Khadr said these at a briefing in his official residence this afternoon. Al Jazeera are bibranti mula kapo prachare in pichone, deshe bideshe kara kara jorito, shetao kuje bear kora huchi. Ebong Al Jazeera are a asgubi reporto mitha bole puti porno. দেশে বিদেশে আজ একটা রাজনৈতিক সাতান্নেশি মহল সরকার ও আওয়ামী লীগের ঐক্যে ফাটল ধরানোর জন্য সুগভি চক্রান্তে লিপ্ত আওয়ামী লীগ বাংলাদেশের মাটি ও মানুষের দল এ শেকড় বাংলাদেশের মাটি অনেক গভীরে প্রথিত আওয়ামী লীগের যে সব শাখা সাংগঠনিক সংকট রয়েছে 
একুশে ফেব্রুয়ারি পর অনুষ্ঠেয় কেন্দ্রীয় নির্বাহী কমিটির সভায় সংকট নিদর্শনে সিদ্ধান্ত নেয় The Awami League General Secretary said negative politics led to BNP's repeated failure in elections while people are happy with the unprecedented development achieved by Sheikh Hasina and this causes heart attacks for the BNP men. প্রত্যাখ্যাত সরকারের পদতে এক নয় বরং বিএনপির মতো দলকে জনবিচ্ছিন্ন করার জন্য বিএনপি শীর্ষ নেতৃবৃন্দদের টপ টু বটম পদত্যাগ করা উচিত কিন্তু তাদের আন্দোলনের ডাকে জনগণের পক্ষ থেকে কোনো সাড়া নেই ট্যাম্পস নদীর ওপারের আন্দোলনের ডাকে পদ্মা মেঘনা যমুনা জোয়ার আসবে না বিএনপি নেতারা করোনা টিকা নিয়েও নানান অপপ্রচার চালিয়েছেন শেষ পর্যন্ত টিকা প্রদান কার্যক্রম উৎসবে রূপ নিয়েছে এখন তারাও টিকা গ্রহণের জন্য লাইনে দাঁড়াচ্ছেন বিএনপি সবকিছু আসলে দেরিতে বুঝে অপরাজনীতি করে নিজেদেরকে জনবিচ্ছিন্ন করা এই রাজনীতি যেদিন বুঝতে পারবে সেদিন তারা জনগণের কাছে Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud welcomed BNP leaders receiving corona vaccine despite their negative publicity against the vaccine itself. He said such paradoxical behavior of BNP leaders is like donkeys drinking water after making it murky. The Information Minister made the remarks as he exchanged views with the journalists at his Devanji Pukurpa residence in Chattogram this afternoon. BNP Netara, a corona vaccine, is a very good project. Tara, first of all, the government has said that 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 এবং এটি নিলে কোনো কাজ হবে না নানা ধরনের প্রশ্ন এবং এটি বিএনপি নেতাদের দিয়ে তারা বিএনপি নেতাদের মেরে ফেলতে চাচ্ছে এ ধরনের কথাও অর্থাৎ দায়িত্বহীন অনেক কথা বলেছেন শেষ পর্যন্ত তাদের অনেক নেতা করোনা ভ্যাকসিন নিয়েছেন করোনা ভ্যাকসিন নেওয়ার পক্ষে কথাও বলেছেন তাদেরকে আমি সাধুবাদ জানাই তবে কথা আছে না গাদা জল খোলা করে খায় বিএনপির ক্ষেত্রে করোনা ভ্যাকসিন নেওয়ার ক্ষেত্রে ঠিক সেরকমই ঘটছে ঘটেছে এখনো ছয় সাতটি দেশে আল জাজিরার সম্প্রচার বন্ধ আছে আমরা চাইলে সেটি করতে পারতাম কিন্তু মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনার সরকার গণমাধ্যমের অবাধ স্বাধীনতায় বিশ্বাস করে কিন্তু স্বাধীনতা মানে এই নয় যে ভুল সংবাদ মিথ্যে সংবাদ পক্ষপাত দুষ্ট সংবাদ রাজনৈতিক উদ্দেশ্য প্রণোদিত সংবাদ কিংবা অপরের স্বাধীনতা হরণকারী সংবাদ পরিবেশন করা এটি কোনোভাবেই সমীচীন নয় আল জাজিরার যে রিপোর্ট সেটি একটি মিথ্যা বারোয়াট রিপোর্ট কিছু কাট পেস করে রিপোর্ট প্রকাশ করা হয়েছে এবং এটি একটি ব্যক্তিগত আক্রোশের বশবর্তী হয়ে রিপোর্ট পেশ করা হয়েছে বন্ধ করে নিয়ে এই জন্য আমরা গণমাধ্যমের অবাধ স্বাধীনতায় বিশ্বাস করি তবে হাইকোর্ট যদি কোনো আদেশ দেয় এটিকে বন্ধ করার জন্য সেক্ষেত্রে তো হাইকোর্টের আদেশ আমাদেরকে মানতে হবে জিও রহমানের আসলে ভূমিকা কি ছিল মুক্তিযুদ্ধের সময় সেটি নিয়ে তো নানা প্রশ্ন আছে তিনি মুক্তিযোদ্ধার ছদ্মাবরণে তিনি প্রকৃত পক্ষে পাকিস্তানের সহযোগী হিসেবে কাজ করেছিলেন কিন্তু তার খেতাব বাতিলের কোনো চূড়ান্ত সিদ্ধান্ত তো হয়নি এখন ইন্টারন্যাশনাল নিউজ নাও COVID-19 global death toll crosses 23,81,000 and more than 10 crore, 84,9,000 have been infected globally. More than 8 crore, 4,48,000 people have recovered so far. The United States, the current epicenter of the pandemic, has now 2 crore, 80,6,000 confirmed cases and 4,87,163 deaths. The country reported 3,068 deaths yesterday. 
Democrats have finished their arguments that Donald Trump incited the attack on the U.S. Congress, warning he can do this again if he is not convicted. Impeachment prosecutors used rioters' own words to link Trump to the violence while arguing last month's riot had caused long-term harm as well. Democrats also presented accounts from police, staff, intelligence officials and foreign media to pursue their case. Trump's lawyers have argued he was using his right to freedom of speech when declaring last November's presidential election fraudulent. China has banned BBC World News from broadcasting in the country, its television and radio regulator announced on Thursday. In its decision, China's state film, TV and radio administration said BBC World News reports about China were found to seriously violate broadcast guidelines, including the requirement that news should be truthful and fair and not harm China's national interests. China has criticized the BBC for its reporting on coronavirus and the persecution of ethnic minority Uyghurs. The BBC said it was disappointed by the decision. It follows British media regulator Ofcom revoking state broadcaster China Global Television Network's CGTN license to broadcast in the UK. Cyber crimes are escalating day by day in the society due to increased use of modern technology. The women visiting the virtual world becoming the worst sufferers of the cyberspace. To cope with the situation, Bangladesh Police has launched a Facebook page named Police Cyber Support for Women for ensuring safety of the women under the LIC branch at police headquarters in Dhaka. With the launching of such cyber support, the women victim easily and fearlessly can launch their allegations to the police through the Facebook, email and hotline number seeking remedies for their cyber harassment. High officials concerned of the police said due to lack of sufficient knowledge in technology, the women are being victims of cyber harassment by cheats. In such cases, the police are standing by the women victims as a friend side by side helping the victims with all necessary information. However, the cyber experts suggested the online users to be more careful to remain secured in the cyber world. The government has been working to reach the treatment facilities at the doorsteps of the rural people. As part of this, world-class and modern treatment facilities are being provided in Shahid Sheikh Abu Nasir Specialized Hospital of Kulna aimed at building a healthy nation. As a result, the people of Kulna areas are showing reluctance to go to foreign countries for their treatment. It may be mentioned that Shahid Sheikh Abu Nasser Specialized Hospital was established at Gwal Khali of Kulna in the month of September 1998 in remembrance of Bangabandhu's brother, Sheikh Abu Nasser, who embraced martyrdom on 15th August 1975. And now, sports news. Bangladesh are trailing by 304 runs in their first innings against West Indies at Stumps of day two in the second test of the two-match series in Dhaka. At the end of the day, the Tigers scored 105 runs for four in their first innings. Mushfiqur Rahim and Mohammad Mithun were on the crease with 27 and 6 runs respectively. Earlier, West Indies started their second day's batting with the overnight score of 223 for five at Mirpur Sheri Bangla National Stadium. They are all out on 409 runs in their first innings. Abu Jaid Rahi and Taijul Islam bagged four wickets each for Bangladesh. During the bulletin headlines once again. Dual gauge rail line being constructed on Dhaka Tongi and Dhaka Joydepur routes. Progress of work 41% so far. Number of corona vaccine recipients increasing day by day. Experts urge everyone to take vaccines without being confused by propaganda. Those at home and abroad involved in Al Jazeera's misleading propaganda being identified, says Obaidul Kadir.
Despite their propaganda against Corona vaccine, BNP leaders now taking vaccines like donkeys prefer drinking muddy water, says Information Minister Hassan Mahmoud. China blocks BBC broadcast within a week of CGTN ban in the United Kingdom. And Bangladesh score 105 for 4 at the end of second day in reply of 409 of West Indies in the first innings of Mirpur Test. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us. Our next bulletin is coming up at 11.30 in Bangla. Until then, 